Hey everybody, this is Devin Francis, also known as Leonard Monster. And I made bingo sheets. Yeah, so... We're, gonna, we're actually going to put a picture this, of them. This episode it one, is indecipherable with the light. This is episode 133. Oh yeah, I'll put screenshots up, but also just read these off. Or, I want to read them. Throw them I, up made for a them. Yeah, I made so them. Yeah, so after the last episode, uh, Victoria like had, directly after Victoria had a movie. brilliant idea that because there's so many weird repetitive tropes in uh, in the movies... That what better thing do you do with that in any kind of media consumption than create... Bingo sheets! Yeah, so Victoria made them, and then I randomized them for both of us, and I'll do it each time that we use them, and we'll probably yeah. modify them. and we're going to see who wins. I'm hoping I win because I made them. If you have suggestions for new things to add to our, uh, our sheets, please let us know. Uh, there's some things that kind of fit into each other, but... They're pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what Victoria's come up with I'm here. so happy with this. I'm very so, uh, proud of it. So do you want to read off our 24 bingo things? Yes. Uh, free space in the middle, obviously. Uh, yeah, free space in the middle. So Dylan owns things no child would own. Animal antics. The stratifier. British villain. Don't try this at home, kids. New characters that they want us to think aren't new. Wit invents something his eye slap floor version would. Lip flaps don't match voices. Inappropriate use of flowers. That is not how science works. Connie doesn't appear. <laughs> non AIO writers write the episode. And the free space. Sherman's out for blood. Disproportionate character bodies. Eugene is an idiot. Characters get tied up or trapped. Something explodes for no reason. Wit shows his mob bossness. Eugene is eating. Nothing relevant happens for five minutes. That one's... We need a timer for that oh, one. Oh, yeah. I should have put my watch um, back. Birds. Just all capitals. Birds. Dylan gets advice from his dad. Something happens that would never happen on AIO. That's not how the imagination station works. What I'm really hoping for in a perfect is world... Is a blackout. Is a blackout. <laughs> so, uh, cross the free space off right off the bat. Yeah. I'm going to be using... Um, actually, I'm not going to use my silver Sharpie because... Yeah, I'm that. Um, also because you can't see anything through the silver. No, oh, that's true. So... Yeah. yeah, that was nice for the decorations, though, because when it I wanted would, to, it like, was. We made decorations yesterday, like, these monstrosities. We um, had, like, this really and, like, cheap, thin, like, things. balsa wood, uh, wooden Christmas ornament things that come with, like, the really cheap markers. Uh, and I wasn't going to do it this year because it's just, like, they're painting the little I made him everywhere. be festive. But then Victoria came up with a brilliant idea that we turn them all into Adventure Zone characters. Go listen to the Adventure Zone if you really have it. It's a very fun. good podcast. Which is really... It was fun to, it made like, me wish we could modify all these snowmen and elves and Santa and reindeer. Listening to the Adventure Zone made me really wish we could re-review Dungeons and Dragons. Castles and Cauldrons. Yeah, that's what Yeah, I'm I know. I think about it a lot because we didn't really talk about a lot of the actual like RPG element of that episode, especially the fact that nothing in that episode remotely resembled it, including the fact that they never rolled a die in the entire episode. <laughs> he casts lots at one point, but they never actually roll any dice in the entire episode. If Len was actually like... The reason why Len played with... And I know that there's... He was glowing... Well, Dev, it's going to be recording us from these. Good Good point. I know that... The reason Len played with Jimmy and not his friends is because his friends would have known that he was a cheater. (laughs) Well, I realized they were going after, like, live-action role-playing and more, like, LARPing stuff than than that, but they still titled it to be after, like, D&D. Yeah. So... Oh, well. Okay. This is not what we're talking okay. about right now. Bingo time. Bingo. Can I watch the movie? Do you even know what the title of this one is? No, I know nothing about it. I'm really pumped. Okay. I'm so excited for my bingo sheets. Okay, let's go in. You don't even know what the title is. I don't is. even you know what the do, title is. Because it's in the title of this video. Okay. Uh, but we're going to watch that right now. Okay, here we go. Another good old Wait, focus is this? on I the feel like we've films. done so many of them. I think this them. is number five. Oh, I wanted to guess five. In that case, I was right. Space? Is this an imagination station? This actually takes place after uh, after the few present long ago. Uh, it what? takes place after the heat death this of is, the universe. Yes. This is a different plane. 
I'm confused. What do you mean? This is all so clearly straightforward, is Victoria. Is that Dylan and his sister? Well, it was clearly Sherman. It might be Jesse. Yeah, it's a, wait, who's that? That is, that is a, a character, new character they, they want, want us to think are new. new. Also, there's some giant dinosaur, space dino. Well, this seems normal. Does this count as animal antics? Oh, there's a tree, of course, you know. It's alien plants. It looks like they have, like, Katamari heads. So, like, what do you think is going on here? I'm Man, curious. I love the desolation of Smaug. <laughs> What do you think is actually going on here? I'm curious. Uh, imagination state? Or dream, maybe. But that spaceship could be the imagination station. Like the idea of someone, like, bringing their dog into the imagination station. It's Sherman, he does what he wants. Yeah, that's true. I love it. What? My favorite part of Star Trek is when they just furiously DJ these. Oh, this is a Star Trek. Yes, this episode is called Star Quest. I feel like this is an animatic. Lip flaps. Oh, I have two in a row. Daffy Duck parody. Yeah. Or it could even be. What's his space version? Oh, um, I, I don't remember. It's a solid William Shatner parody. It is. See, that's how you do it. Yeah. It's only slightly less cool than the actual They're original like Star Trek. Driving. Of course, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they film an episode of Star Trek in Odyssey? I mean, like Star Trek's run out of ideas before a minute. Now we have to see if the writers. It's true. But seriously though, hearing the theme in this version never gets old. It's just- It does have the best good. theme. It has a better theme than the show. Especially since we're in the older, or the newer episodes now, they don't have this theme anymore. It's the slow, it really it. the slow version. Which, admittedly, was the most original take. Wait, Rob McFarlane, has he ever- No, it's And I'm supplying the giant robot. Of course. That's it? Wonderful, isn't it? I feel like sure. the art department this could make its own models. Eugene, you think? Granted, uh, you've seen the props in the original Star Trek, right? I've almost reached the top of the Empire. Yeah, but outsourcing it means you have to pay that person more. I know. I just... Look at that laptop. Oh my goodness. If Doctor Who well, can get away with you... saying a cybermite is a rock with googly eyes on it, then they can get away to saying anything is a robot. I love Star the Trek. tomb of the da or the Eugene. tomb of the Cybermen. Eugene he has like harsh. Yeah. Oh, it's on a floppy disk. Look, Eugene. look at the way the floppy disk sticks like perpendicular into the screen of his laptop. I'm gonna give that disproportionate character bodies. Wait, invent something as I slap floor version would, and Eugene is an idiot. Disproportionate oh, character bodies one. with this new guy. What? Okay, that's that yeah, that's not a model. I mean, it is a model, but it's not a miniature. That is absolutely wait a minute. Wait, he's British. Is, is he the villain? We'll have to find out. Probably. Wait, this is a mech. That's not how science works. No, I mean, we'll see. I cannot believe it. Where's something happens that would never happen? Don't try right this now. at home, kids. How is this? Don't Pil he wants oh. Dylan to pilot a three-story tall mech. Okay, this isn't an anime, so they're not allowed doing that. Get in the robot, Dylan. <laughs> Put him down. <laughs> Quiet, Dylan. <laughs> yes, let her do it. In fact, everyone's so much better. Man, I love the Lion King. Animal antics. I'm gonna cross it off for earlier. With the dinosaur. Oh. 
Oh no! Bingo! Darn it! But who will get the most at the end? That's the real question. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna get the same amount because we're can't. checking off all the same things. All boys can roar. Well. What does that mean? Don't enforce your really no. weird gender stereotypes. And regimen on the children. Why does he have like an F on his That is child abuse. Yeah, his name's Sal. Look how big it is. Look how big it is in this shot. This is still the plot transformer. This guy's a jerk. Why is his name Sal, but he has a T on his hat? For Transformers. He's also a robot. Oh, okay. So you're telling me that The Bible something... tells us when we want to pilot giant Max. You're telling me that in this massive, deadly mech that's like apparently 10 stories tall now that Sal is going to be inside of that his life will depend on operating properly, which like, you can go oil the mechanisms inside. <laughs> This is the kid we're trusting with another kid's life. So far, my favorite character in this episode is. Bosch oh my gosh. Bosch oh wow. Yeah, Eugene is an idiot to the fly with the word. It definitely has no. Oh, they're both in it. It's like Pacific Rim. This is pretty exciting. I don't know what I'd do without you. You know, I mean, you'd be feel, dead without him. I feel like something happens or never happened on the AO. It's pretty solid, day, ain't it? Yeah. I'm waiting for something to explode for no reason. Oh, no, that's Did definitely anything relevant coming. happened? I would say, I was just looking at that. I'd say it's good so far. See, yeah. look at the. Tw I guess it folds into the laptop. That's weird. That's not how floppy disks work. It is not. I like how it's like, oh, too, good, too bad we, we couldn't have put they... like a mic any re pre recorded VFX for this. Yeah, and shouldn't you get someone whose voice is actually dropped? Too? Or a, an actual sound effect from an animal, even. Like Jurassic Park just makes like a bunch I of. I like the effects. idea that Wit couldn't have like remotely controlled this like he was with the tiny one that has to be piloted by an infant. Oh, they do have a mic. Something else. Okay, so yeah. the sound, the roar that he makes has no bearing That's on it. That's not how science works, because the arms are moving and he was not moving the arms. He was just roaring into the thing. Wait, that was it? They built the robot for that? They could just use a miniature for that. They only ever showed an actual actor next to the foot while it wasn't moving. So they absolutely could have done that. Okay, I get this is supposed to be, like, silly and stuff and blow everything out of proportion, but this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Please let me check off that's not how science works. Oh, wait, there's gonna be something so good for you. Okay, kids would do this, but adults would not do this. Connie doesn't appear. Well, we have to wait till the end for that. That's all for today. We must I mean, we know it's not gonna happen. This, voice for tomorrow. this episode is so bad. <laughs> so, how's the big TV star? Oh, Chris? Well, we were awful proud of you today. You guys are sure doing a great yep. job with that robot. Why? Did, is that his mom? Was she voiced by Chris in other episodes? I don't think so. Why no? Not at all. I don't think she sure. looked like that either. I was thought, there like I a divorce and remarriage probably. between episodes? Stop Dylan? giving Dylan tools. Bad? He's gonna or hurt himself. I don't know. Just hope he like manages a mech that's bigger than Wits End, Victoria. No, he just used the oil can. Yes. That would, really jazz, that would really jazz this up. It's, just... it's Mario! It's so hilariously absurd. It's the first 20 years of Star Trek didn't have the budget it would take to create that working robot. I bet Wit didn't charge on them, that's why they asked for it to do it. I think Eugene's gonna get cut. He hasn't eaten anything yet. It's true. Do you ever wonder what it looked like when Will was doing those lines for Eugene in the <laughs> They just like they'd sneak up behind him and poke him with sharp pencils. You think that's the noise he makes when startled? We put the video game in. Which one's the cartridge? I guess this must be the backup. Why don't you look at both sides, you idiot child? 
Just smash it, why don't you? Like yep, that's it. that's not how science works. Wait, I meant, what happened? The face turned into a gorilla. Wait, I want to see the face. I blinked for one second, I missed it. Yeah, that's not how science works. British villain! Wait. Yes. Technically, Dylan's the the villain here. Yeah, really. but he's British and he started. Yeah, this. I'm gonna let it slide. Dylan? Yes. I haven't gotten one. Dylan now owns things no child would own because he's taken over the mech. It's come along well. I haven't gotten one, and I'm sad. British villain. No way, I just did that. Oh, now Sal's gonna die. I love the idea that this one of you put a video game cartridge into it, and it just makes the robot turn into King Kong. I feel like I should switch out inappropriate use of flowers, or this character should be dead. Yeah, but the more obscure they are, all the funnier it makes it when it it's happens. I like how Wit made this robot that can walk more fluidly than anything DARPA has ever built. Do you think they'd use the Stratifier to get Sal oh, down? Oh, I hope so. Oh my gosh, it's here! I'm oh, straight! Oh, I got my first bingo! QG needing? I'm so happy. Yes, it's bingo! I didn't think they'd actually have to use the Stratifier in this episode. Oh no, he needs to be oiling it. Body of Christ, Romans 12. Or 1 Corinthians 12, sorry. It's about time. This robot knows what's up. I wish I could just see this part with no context. <laughs> it's the picture. I really want to make that my profile picture on Tumblr. The clock tower. Even though it's clearly not. Oh. No, okay. Odyssey FM. Yeah, it's actually a way better. It's the Novacom Tower. This is the alt take on 38. Oh, it was destroyed. You know, so this Wit also end... should have built something that didn't need to be oiled that frequently. Yeah, this episode's gonna end with the guy being like, we have such great footage for our show! And then no one then... had a camera in the film. Actually, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking he Whoa. gets arrested. I thought it was Wait, did you shove the eyeball out? Yes. It's very fragile. It. Turn. Why did you pull him up? He's gonna die now, too! Jump off like Hal, Hal Jordan. No, I'm gonna say characters get trapped, because Dylan is trapped inside a mech. So That's is Sal true. now. That character that we're supposed to have always known. He's always existed. Have there been any birds? There have not been any birds. Too bad. I don't think I'm gonna get any more bingos. Not sad to me. Um, have you got any more? No. This bingo sheet's a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. I knew it wouldn't be, like, super crazy easy. I figured it'd be easier than this, though. Wow, it really is so got calm. The it's so big. It's so stupid. Why not just use a miniature? A miniature would not do this. I hope. That's true. It smells like Sharpie. Really bad. Here. That's a, that's another don't try this at home. Oh, high up. Who's it? Oh, he's gonna die. Or not. It fell like so far. ten times its height. It fell so far. I love the ending of Rocky Horror Picture Show. You would get that if you've no. actually seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> He's getting arrested! I called yep. that! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, he was the British villain. They somehow did not manage to destroy the tower completely. I mean, it's not gonna function now. It's still going. It's too bad they can't so miraculous tall. ladybug it, like fixing the Eiffel Tower every episode. I hope you didn't get in too much trouble. Well, a few weeks apart, clean of duty. Nah, I just sent Sherman after so him, and there is <laughs> no, no more questions asked. You know, maybe if they didn't introduce like six friends for Dylan every episode, we might actually hear about one of them sometime. Absolutely not. I mean, like we could at least pretend Connie, Connie doesn't girl. appear. Um, nothing exploded. Well, the, yeah, there was the one gauge exploded, but I wasn't gonna count that because I assumed something bigger was coming. Yeah, should we count that? 
did not get as many as I thought. Unfortunately, did not get a bingo. I, I only got one bingo. You only got one bingo. There was. But we did get a lot of individual pieces. There was absolutely no aspect of that episode that I knew about going into it. Besides, like what I saw last night. I didn't like, know anything, and I hated it. I. Okay, we'll just skip to the end and talk about it now. Yeah. So, I... There's some things about, like, the animated series and know some things okay, I don't. Okay, let's show our bingo sheets properly in case they didn't show before. I had mine. absolutely no idea that there was an animated series episode that featured a hundred foot tall mech. Yeah. I feel like... It was just, oh, it was so bad. They were like, if you want to watch mechs, go watch an anime. They do it so much better. Even if it's like a bad anime with mechs, it's better than that. That was amazing. So painful. Like. That actually, I think, is my least favorite episode so far. That's the one where I've cared the least about everything going on. Well, it's because you're focused on the bingo part. I know. I wanted more spots. But like, even the episode. I can't believe you didn't. Oh, yeah, you did get a bingo. I did get one, but like if you hadn't let me be British villain, I wouldn't have. No, oh, that was very um, clear, Benny. Okay, so let's. Even the episode where they had that stupid race with that stupid girl and the stupid cat. Yep. I gave more of a crap for that episode mm -hmm. than I did in this. Zero out of five. Did not care. So at let's all. go over the spots that we got. So yeah. the Strata Flyer appeared. I'm so happy. Unlike Connie. Uh, yeah. I'll count them off. Uh, uh, no AIO new, writers. Uh, no, I'm reading them in oh, okay. my order, so we don't get confused. New characters that they didn't want us to think aren't new, or did want us to think aren't new, uh, which was Sal, Sal Martinez. It's, uh, it's not the best attempt at diversity that they've made on the show. Mm -mm. Um, that's not how science works, which referred to sticking Lots a, of things. specifically putting a video game cartridge into a mech that reprograms it to think that it's King Kong and also causes the sheet metal of its exoskeleton to morph to look like a primate face. That happened like a bunch of times. Every time something happened, the face changed. British villain, Ian McKeon or whatever his name was. Um, characters get tied up slash trapped because they got trapped inside the mech when it went crazy. Don't try this at home, kids. Pretty much everything. Everything, mostly letting small children pilot giant mechs with l almost no training. Also, the fact that it was like, yeah, kids, jump out the punched out eyeball, slide down, not slide down the arm into the thing, but slide down the arm and like ski jump off the end, sail through the air, and then grab onto the side of the strata flyer. <laughs> These eyes look like what? Look. This looks mm. like what? Yeah. Um, that was seven, eight. Something happens that would never happen on AIO. Everything. Literally all of it. Mostly the giant mech. Um, free space. Dylan owns things no child would own. I'm really surprised you didn't get Sherman's he out takes, for blood. takes control of the mech. Um, look flaps don't match voices, which was when we were watching the episode of StarQuest. And, and William Shatner's lips were just like, they were blatantly supposed to be off, I think. Mm-hmm. So that was perfect. Um, Eugene is an idiot. Eugene is an idiot. Everything with Eugene. Eugene with the duck. The pill. duck mask and the cake. Oh my gosh. King fake Klingon. That that started off the worst thing ever, but then soon became the highlight of the episode. Um, animal antics in the beginning, where they use a giant slingshot to kill a dinosaur. Um, um, the moon of Mars or whatever. Yeah. Wherever they were. Phobos. Um, Wit invents something his eye slot floor version would. Um, yeah. Yeah, a giant mech piloted by like non AIO drums. writers write the episode. Yep, and disproportionate character bodies. Uh, so once we weren't able to get, I'll read those off. Uh, inappropriate. Oh, sorry, not 16. Inappropriate use of flowers. Sherman's out for blood. Very surprised this didn't make it on, especially with the alien at the beginning. Something explodes for no reason. Yeah, so close. Yeah. I'm surprised that... I am flabbergasted. Like, I'm, I'm disappointed the mech did not blow up. I'm flabbergasted that nothing actually exploded in this episode. Because um, if, if there was any episode with it, random wanton explosions... It would have been the Michael Bay been, episode. It would have been this one. Um, which shows his mob bossness. 
He did have like very strong connections, people in power, if you consider that one British guy to have power for making Star Trek. Uh, but... He's yeah. also the director, not the executive producer. Yeah, I know. Well, I was just... I couldn't think of the word director, so... It's a slight difference. Of that. Eugene is eating. No eating. He yeah. apparently does not eat anymore. Not in this episode or the one before. Uh, nothing relevant happens for five minutes. I feel like that time span might be a little bit too long. But part of me wants to say it's odd. It's also like, things were happening in this episode. Yeah. Maybe more so than any other ones. Too, Maybe not the first too one. Too much was happening, one might say. One might. Birds. No birds. No birds. No birds. <gasps> Eugene and a duck bill. Oh, there's a bird. <laughs> Oh, that means I get another bingo! Technically, he was a Klingon. Damn it, I get two bingos! That means I win! Dang it. Yes! But he was wearing a duck bill and imitating and uh, Daffy a, Duck. There was a duck at the beginning. Because he had like a heavy lisp with his tongue sticking out of his mouth. He was going, <laughs> No, at the, the, yeah, the one at the beginning was specifically talking like Daffy Duck. Um, I get two bingos, so I win. Yes! I also got a first bingo, though, so it's kind of... I bet got more, though. I I'll give it to you know. because you was your idea. And you came up with literally every one of these spaces. Um, Anyways, there's two more. <clears throat> uh, Dylan gets advice from his dad. His dad had, like, two seconds of screen time. Did not talk. Chris did. And like I said before, I am pretty positive that his mom was a blonde before, but did not look like that. Was not voiced by Chris, I, I do so. not think. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I don't think she's really talked much up until now. Yeah, it was mostly the dad. They like to keep the women silent in the show. Connie doesn't even appear. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> yeah, Connie doesn't even appear. I can true. say it, because I'm a woman. The traps aren't just on the bingo board anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like D&D. &D. Yeah. Um, You're bringing it all back around. Yep. Uh... Yeah, I like to think that there was a divorce and a remarriage between the past episode with his mom and this one. It's plausible. Uh, that's not how the imagination station works. Uh, didn't show up. Didn't show up. I thought it was going to be what they were in, but that was actually just Wonder World, apparently. Yeah, so we got... Well, it's in Dylan's backyard. It's... So. Devin, if they said it was Wonder World, would you be surprised? Yes. I would not, because they they just pull. That's true. Nothing, nothing stuff like this all the time. I would say nothing, nothing surprises me at this point. But did you see what we just? <laughs> Everything surprises me still, and it bothers. That me. was jaw droppingly shocking me from that something get, that I didn't think could. Pull it bothers me that they can get time. a reaction out of me because I just don't want to feel anything. Else. I just want to be numb to these at this point. Like they're so bad. They're so terrible. And I just, I want him to stop. Um, so, we got 17 out of 25 spaces filled, which is for 68%. That means we passed. Yeah. This board passes. I win for making this board. I don't think you made any of these things. No, you, I think you, you like, blatantly told me not yeah, to come you up were, with any of them. You were going to suggest one because I, I was already like over half done by the yeah. time I actually showed it to you. Do you want to crush through your sure. bingos? Um, and then you're like, I might have one. And I was like, no, you don't because this is mine. So I'll mix these up each time. And I put the pictures up earlier so you guys can screen cap them if you want and play along at home. Ooh, two bingos. If someone wants to know how I randomized them, I assigned each spot a number and then put the numbers into an ordered list uh, randomizer. And then I put them those in order back into the spots and then cop and overwrote them with the ones that I'd assigned the numbers to. I'm too lazy to do that. So... Um, I'm Plus gonna, it sounds like I'm math. Gonna keep them from between the Can things. Can you so keep a tally? This is Star Quest, and this is Devon's, and 17 out of 25, which is the same for yours, but you can write and the episode you in your name. And you how many you got. One. Ten years from eight, now, eight. once we finish all of the episodes, here, right, man? So they match. Um, ten years from now, once we finish all the Odyssey episodes, we can see who has more bingos and who will be the winner. So, uh, what do you? What did you think of the episode, review-wise? 
I thought it was horrible. And I hated it more than I've hated... I got two bingos. Yes, that is correct. You cheater. Nothing um, in my life will ever surprise me as much as Whit being, oh, this isn't the robot, and then this pulling down. Is the <laughs> I'm disappointed that Eugene does not Vanna White for the robot and I didn't display it think, like a model. I genuinely didn't think that they could ever give Whit an invention that would make the Strata Flyer seem like a normal and logical invention. But this is leagues beyond that. I'm really disappointed that, like, this didn't get any mention at I Slap Floor. So it's like... It so might we not can, have come out at the time. I know, but still. So I want the line to be like, so we can use it to rescue people from clock towers or giant monkey robots fists for Star Trek episodes that they commissioned me on get to in build models. Get in the robot, Dylan. Get on my level. Uh, no, by the I way, everyone else, you. everyone else has already seen this joke earlier because I cut it in. But when we make the Evangelion joke, I put the theme for this, but with Cruel Angel's thesis over it. I actually really like the Evangelion song. I've I, actually listened to it like a I lot of times. I've never seen an episode of Evangelion, but I really love the opening theme. I, I just think it's so catchy. I have zero comprehension of that whole thing of how there's like so many videos online of like bands and gospel choirs and stuff and like professional orchestras Singing. performing Cruel Angel's thesis. Have you heard the entire song? Um, it's actually I, I, I like such so. a good song. No, I know. Say da 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 da. But have you seen like how many it's, videos it's there are song. out there? It just I it don't... doesn't surprise me. It's an awesome song. Anyway, it's weird. I'm just sure. Have you seen the gospel choir one? No. I'm gonna put but it. I want I'm gonna put it in now. the description. I'll show it right after. It's amazing. Um, or quoting a parody thing whenever Devin says like "Get in the mech." Um, that you I, can I watch didn't, if honestly you didn't want. know if those from the actual. Oh, show that's, or not. there's like a, I'll show it to you it's after. Like in a bridge series um, or something. I don't know. It's just uh, something really short. I don't right. even think it's taken from a bridge series. Um, um, yeah, that was. I mean, you know what? It was bad. I appreciate really bad. the fact that they got a pretty practical object lesson use out of First Corinthians twelve. Um. I wish that there was we more... We barely heard the actual um, lesson because we were talking over Wit delivering it. I wish there was more Godzilla in this. I haven't actually ever seen... No, it's not Godzilla. It's King Kong. It's King Kong. I, I think I might have said about. Godzilla early on at one point. Maybe. It's your fault. Um, I've never actually seen a King Kong movie. Nor have I. I've or seen Godzilla. a ton of clips, and I know a lot about all the different King Kong movies because of Lindsay Ellis's videos. She has one on King Kong and all his different movies. There's one called, like, Son of King Kong, and it ends with them murdering, like, a King Kong baby. <laughs> so, and a bunch of others. Um, so, yeah, so we had Sal appeared. The lesson was about, like, the body of Christ, and we all have our job to play. And so they literally gave Dylan a part in a literal giant body that he had to serve to make the body function, which it was a very literal execution of, uh, of the lesson. Do you think that, like, he the boy who part. didn't go to church would be a lot more impactful if, if they put Jack in a kai giant Giant back? kaiju. Oh, my gosh. Do you ever think about the fact that Transformers is a mech anime? Well, it's not because they don't, they don't pilot. Them. Yeah, they do. Do they? Yeah, in the original, there's a boy named Sparkplug. And okay. And... He, he like I've never watched the original series. Him, and his dad and him are friends with like Optimus Prime. And I'm not that old. Um, I'm not old enough for all them 80s cartoons. Sparkplug is the worst name to name your child. That's correct. <laughs> the dad's a mechanic. So I think that's their excuse for why they named him Sparkplug. It's terrible still. I mean, in fairness, like... The, Spark plug whines more than Luke the, from A New Hope. The the Woods family from back home. Um, I mean, their dad was a mechanic and named his sons Axel and Wheeler. Yeah, but that sounds really cool. Spark plug sounds dumb. It does sound like a nickname. Are you sure it's his given name? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's either Sparky or Spark plug. Plug. I. So there's I a bit of a difference, but um, I'm going to rate this one five out of five. 
That was the funniest no. thing I've watched since the first one. No. Unfortunately, like, we didn't have a lot of amazing commentary on it, partially because of the bingo, but partially because I was just so in awe of what was happening. Like in, It was so bad. I was just In, in the pain. Night Travelers, we already knew a bunch of it because of, like, Dobson Cups to Town and stuff. Bark Plug Wit Wiki is many things, but first and foremost, a Well father. named is not one of them. Oh, my God. Um, so they at least took the Witwicky thing then for the films for the first three. Apparently. Sparkplug was never seen or referred to again after the second season of the original Transformers cartoon series. I mean, I wouldn't be either apparently if that was my they name. they bumped him off. <laughs> this is, um, they apparently... Replaced, they replaced Sparkplug? Apparently he's an Autobot. That was a weak, was a weak joke. But also maybe a human. I don't know. <laughs> His mother, his mother was an Autobot and his father was human. But I'm okay with that now. It was a complex custody situation. Um, back oh back to this. So, yeah, had I mean. Duck Dodgers in it. That had to be a Duck Dodgers reference. It looked yes, just or like Daffy Duck, Duck Dodgers. generally speaking. But yeah, I think Duck Dodgers But Duck Dodgers has the cake. Um, was in original Looney Tunes. Stuff, yeah. not just his own cartoon, which I did not know for a very long time. Cause I wow, that was just like it was so bad. Oh my gosh, and Scotty was dressed. I feel in like a kilt, I, and he had like a red hat. I really like a day in the life, mm. but why wasn't it like this? There's a reason it wasn't like this. Is there? Is there really? They already put in yes. like a magical time traveling ring and like an evil wizard living outside of town in a tower that with crocodiles. That episode was so good, though. That episode was a five out of five. I take back everything I said. I think I gave it like a one out of five originally. That episode is a five out of five. This is just zero like this out of one. Five. No, this is so bad. This is so good. It was so bad. So. No. Um, that's all for this are time. There, are there any of these that you would actually watch again willingly? Um, either the first one. Because out of the reviews we've or done. this one. I've, I think I watched the race car review, but that's because I was just watching all the movie reviews. The, the reviews I've actually watched a couple times and really enjoyed that we've done. Because I actually like the episodes where the clock tower one. What was the last one? What's number four? I don't rem I remember it being forgettable. The one where Wit was in jail. Yeah, Shadow yeah. of a Doubt. That one's weird. Um, the ones I actually liked were the Clock Tower one, we Fine Feathered Frenzy. One, <laughs> Check the time on the Clock Tower. Um, and the first one, the Night Travelers. Man, can yeah, you believe there's the 17 of these? Uh, <laughs> At least the animation changes for like the last five or whatever. I don't think you got to finish saying what you were saying about the Disney animation earlier. Oh, yeah. Um, on the OAC, the album that contains all of these, the description for it, I noticed last night um, that it describes these as having classic Disney-style animation. And it was like... <laughs> really? It's so bad! Really? Really? It's so really? bad! Really? Uh, I have to do an exam in the morning. This is a terrible way to spend my night. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. So, until next time, uh, what are we doing next time, Victoria? Uh, Jay and the Life Part 2. Yeah, both and the regular the and, and the two and a half. Um... And part. Packed Part 2. Correct. For those who don't watch all of our episodes, why don't you? I'm kidding. There's so many. I don't even know why you're watching this. Um, These are the only ones people do watch. That's true. I actually like the movie reviews. <laughs> they're, people need to watch the fun. Kathy interview more because that was like... The Kathy that was interview the, was like great. Like the best, inter best interview, best video maybe that we've ever made. Probably. Um, I'm still really happy with how Silk was Sleep Devoted turned up. That was a good review. Um... So those who don't watch all of our videos, it's not actually called A Jane in the Life. It's called There and Back Again. No. Also, it's not A Jane in the Life. Living it, in the J. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. You're confusing it with 
A Day in the Life, which is this episode, not the next episode. <sighs> There's too many potential J episodes, Victoria. What do we do with them all? Bring Whit Hertford back as a regular character? Yes! Uh, so that's what we're talking about next time. Can I just say, if they ever wrangled it so that Jay and Wellington were in the same episode, I think I would actually die. I don't think that's going to happen. And honestly, I'm only saying that, one, because I think it's true, but two, also, if you say something's going to happen and I say it's not, then you know it's going to happen. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us on our side of YouTube. I've been Devin Francis, also known as Leonard Meltzner. This episode was so bad. And you were watching. It was amazing. It was so bad. The Adventures in Odyssey Oddcast. Mm, Mac shouldn't be an AIO. Do you want